Hey, hey, sir. Hey, we got the what? books, buddy. Do you mind if I have a copy of this? All right, he's he's saying, oh, wow, you found that book, huh? If you could have just uh, cited it and put it back off the shelf. Before I give you the key, though, since you're well up to helping, there was a second book that was stolen. It was called The Shadow Prince. It was taken by a villager or something. Find that one and put it back on my shelves, too, if you will. Here are some coins for your efforts, I guess. Rid of Olden. I put it on this shelf. I threw it. I'm sorry, book. You tossed it. See, this I'll put it empty. in this corner so we can come back and like get a copy of it later. Sure. And now we gotta get that Shadow Prince book. Yeah. Hey, dude. Why did you steal a book from the library? Bruh. I didn't want to you guys grab it. Or did you put it back? I put it back because you t talked about, you know, stealing is okay. bad. I left the doors hey, open. Hopefully nothing goes in there. Byron, why did you steal the book? Maybe he just he checked it out and forgot to return it. Oh, Grayson took the swords. Cool. Must have noticed it while we were away. I still have Grayson's sword. We still need to find Elaine. Yeah, but yeah, that, we have to down, go to the archives for that. She's down the deeps, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's, let's run it back. Let's run this, this book back to the to the my... to a blank. Having a hard time. All right, time. let's just return this book of or the Shadow Prince. That was. Does called? anyone have another version? Because like. No. No, I yeah, think you have the only copy. And there's the second book. Wow. So okay, one more book, please. Then I swear I'll get you the key, okay? Even though I really don't want to. The third book is called Petros Reports. Okay, it oh, was taken by someone with wings. They flew to the northwest of here. Weird, huh? The only one I know that has wings is... Yeah. The bird. Candy. <laughs> yeah. Petrus report Petrus north... Petrus reports is did one of the... Did you say northwest? The... Hey, sir, northwest. where did you say it again? Because I'm dumb. Northwest, northwest of here. Of here. All right. Thank you, sir. We're checking out the Bay Village. Oh, I love all, getting to read all these books. This is, like, so cool. All right, everybody. They flew northwest? Yeah. Northwest, that's the Bay Village. Oh, seriously? Yeah. We get to go to the Bay Village? What the <laughs> hell is the Bay Village? But Are we, we going this... to a Tyrion or is somewhere farther? I would assume it's I guess this spot. is a Tyrion. But there was a lot of NPCs in there. We've called it the Bay Village because it's kind of near a water area that looks like a bay. Because we didn't know the um, place. Yeah, they closed their gates at night, so we have to wait the night out. Oh, left guys, my... we left our beds back in the other village. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Gates open. Gates open, A. Hey, all right, I'm gonna head your way then. Hello, for... oh, there's so many people. Hello. Oh my god, I think that's an animan. That was, she was at the. Oh, wait, the that's festival. Zoe. Yeah. I forgot. Oh my gosh, hello. It's nice to see you again. Do you want to talk All right, to I'm laying beds outside of the village. Okay. Hello, is the spawn time. All right, cool. All hello, right, Zoe. hello. Hello, Zoe. Oh my goodness, I recognize you now. Hi again. It's so cool that we ran into each other here, huh? Isn't this place so quaint? I love it here. The walls remind me of back home, but the people are way nicer than Animan. Meow. She's a cat girl? She's yeah. an Animan. So... Wait, uh, wait, hold on, hold on. If she's a cat girl and Candy's a cat god, does this mean Candy is an animan god? No. I, I think mm -hmm. Candy's a dread. Oh? Don't dread have, like, black... Not black pupils, but No, it's not all of them. Oh, mm. not all of them? She has horns. Okay, that is true, but do okay. they have horns? Some of them. Cool. All right, how about what's new? What's new? I've been wandering for a super, super long time. I was a lonely kitty for a bit, but then I found this place yesterday night, yeah? They're so accepting and nice. I really like it here. It's a shame I have to go, though. I don't like staying in one place for too long. It makes me all antsy and morale. I get that. Uh, let's yeah. talk about something else. How about let's the animan colony? Wait, there's an animan colony? Yeah. The animan colony is kind of far from here. It's hidden in a magical forest way, way far away. It's kind of hard to find if you're not an animan too, because we have a nose for sniffing each other out, Rao. Maybe I'll show it to you sometime, but then my family would probably be kind of mad, yeah. That's the maybe. All right, cool. 
Let's it's nice talk. catching up to you, Zoe. What did All we right, cool. come here for? I forgot. We got another NPC named of Raven. Gotta get a book back. Hello, Raven. Raven. Praise be to the goddess, stranger. Welcome to our town. What brings you to a Tyrion? Just exploring. Well, so well, feel free to explore to your heart's content. We welcome all to our protected village. However, if you will, allow me to familiarize you with some things about our town. Okay. Here in our town, a Tyrion, we praise the goddess for our safe walls and our committed team of guards. While we welcome other cultures and people, we may not be as trusting of such. Sometimes we can all understand... Something we can all understand are the dangers of the outside world. If you, if you see anyone with an exclamation mark next to their name, that means they may have a request for adventurous people such as yourself. Helping those in need can mean that the others of Aterian will begin to recognize and accept you into our family as well. And such recognition may have benefits of its own. Bro, we got a reputation system up here? I just okay. want to help people. I am down. All right, I understand. Wonderful. I hope you enjoy your stay. If you have any questions, you can come to me or speak with our preacher, who speaks for the good of the town. I have some questions. Oh, no. I'll do what I can to answer any questions you have. Okay, about a Tyrion. A, 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 a Tyrion. So, I don't know, freaking sp pronunciations. Our yeah. town was one of the few that was blessed by the goddess. She gave us walls and protection. Although we are occasionally still threatened, we are all high-spirited and optimistic for the future of our town. We have rules and guidelines to keep each other safe. We have light trade with other similar, similarly protected towns. We are visited by traders every now and again. Overall, we are lucky for the benefits we have, and it is all thanks to the goddess. They worship her around here, huh? What's... I have other questions. Mm -hmm. About you. Tell me about yourself, Raven. There's not much to say about myself, really. I work as the apprentice to the preacher, and therefore I have been tasked with introducing myself in our town of Aterian to strangers like you. If you ever need me, I spend most of my time nearest the entrance to ensure that I greet all who enter with a smile. Yo, yo, before we move on, I gotta, I gotta say, this dialogue, it reminds, the amount of dialogue these NPCs got reminds me of freaking Morrowind. What? Just, just obscene amounts of dialogue. Uh, anyways. And by Morrowind, I mean The Elder Scrolls Three Morrowind. Oh, the, yeah. I've never played that game, so I don't know. It's it's weird. It, it's I weird and dated. <laughs> yeah, everyone's played Skyrim. Everyone, grandma's played Skyrim. I've never okay. played. Well, I've played like a minute of Skyrim. <laughs> All right, tell me about Candy Raven. The goddess Candy is a blessing upon this world. She protected us when we had nothing else. She allows us to live our lives behind these walls, safe from the threats of the outside world and the void. She is our light and our savior. Sure. Okay. You I have are other always questions. skeptical about everything, sir. Look, okay, my dealings with the goddess and their dealings with the goddess must be very, very different. Okay, I know, but still. All right, about the world. Our world as a whole is known as Rem. Well, we specifically live in Mythos, the second largest region. Settlements like ours are not uncommon in Mythos. Humanity is a dominating race in this region as well, with the next largest racial presence being that of Animan and the Dreads. Animan also make their homes in Mythos, although they tend to stay behind their own walls in the magical forests. Dreads often visit Mythos in an attempt to extend their knowledge of magic to us. Many believe that the Dreads are the reason as to Mythos' constant problems with the Void, but the Goddess teaches us that no one is to blame for the selfish greed of the Void. Mm -hmm. Sure, okay, I have other questions. Uh, you know what I think about a bandit. Yeah. Now that you mention it, I believe we have been visited by a young man with white hair. He came to our town quite some time ago, asking for men and women to side with him in a ridiculous crusade against the goddess. Unfortunately, as nonsensical as his arguments were, a couple of us still decided to side with him. I pray for the family of those betrayers. Huh. All right, I think that's all she's got to say. All right. Thank you. That was very informational. Love also, me you... some exposition. Oh, a lot. Too much information. Uh, there's a regen effect around this church. That's the the priest. Hello. His name is his name is Genesis. Of all things to name a priest. Oh, Hello, bro. Jen. He has cool looking. He has like. The yeah, he got the duds, bro. He got the duds. He looks so cool. All right, let me talk to this man. Welcome, stranger. May the goddess bless you. I am Father Genesis. What can I do for you? Uh, nice to meet you. My name is... Uh, my name is ZK the Man. Such a wonderful name. It is nice to meet you as well, child. Is there anything else you need from me? I have some questions for you. 
I am always available to answer questions, child. Ask, and you shall receive answers. However, remember the virtue of patience. Sometimes answers will come in time, and it is not in your interest to rush the natural order of all things. I feel targeted. I'm sorry. I don't always uh, have patience, do you, sir. So do they have, do they have a unique dialogue about, yes. you know, all these yes. different subjects? Yeah. Okay. You wish to know more about our town? Oh. For years, we have been sheltered behind the walls that the goddess built us in order to protect us from the void that constantly threatens our families and our homes. Our doctrine states that we shall remain within these walls, which provide a safety from the harsh outside. Traveler, feel free to rest within our walls for as long as you wish. We understand the hardships of the outside world, and we stand as a beacon of hope to all others in Mythos that such creatures can be overcome and conquered if we believe in the goddess and enact her will. I have other questions. Uh, tell me about yourself, Father Genesis. As stated, I am Father Genesis. I act as the spokesperson of Atiran, as well as the established leader. I also lead the sermons we hold every morning at our community breakfasts where we pray to the goddess for good harvest and her continued protection from the void. I practice some limited magics, but mostly the healing type to ensure that I can assist my family however I can. If you are ever sick or injured, feel free to visit me, and I shall do what I can to heal you. Does he consider the entire town to be his family? He Would not be father. surprised. He is a priest. Tell me about the goddess, Ma Masur. Uh, I could speak for hours on the goddess and her light. And please, have some respect. We do not have the right to call such a radiant being by her name so casually. Excuse you, I'm a player. I absolutely can. We in a Terran hole owe her everything. The fields that we are allowed to tend to, the walls which protect us from the monsters outside, the family we have all developed with, with one another. She is truly an angelic being, and there is no singular thing I would be able to give her in exchange for excessive kindness. Hmm. Uh... Tell me about the world. I mean, she has helped these people. Sure. The world, or REM, is so massive to the extent that it has not been explored fully yet. It is made up of... Okay, these guys, he's just telling us the same things in different words. I'm not gonna... Um, yeah, no portals, no Twilight Forest portals. Yeah, no, these guys are just saying the same things over. Golem? Just golems, A young man... Yeah. A young man with white hair, yes, our freighter establishment has suffered great losses at that heathen's hand. I uh, wonder if golems are cyborgs, or if they're a different mm -hmm. race entirely. He stands against the goddess and will use his devilish charm to persuade people to join him in his crusade against our light. It's rather unfortunate to say that some of our men have turned their back on the goddess in response to his heinous arguments against her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what is he saying to turn people against the goddess? Um, he... Uh, I, he, I guess um, some fellas decided to go with him. He did some raids, maybe did some proselytizing, and, there, and some people were like, huh, this guy's making a bit of sense, and they dipped and went with him. Um, that would be my guess. I found what we need. You've got, got the book? Yeah. Where did you find it? It was just on the floor right here. Just dropped? Oh, yeah. The land of Petros lies beyond the furthest reaches of the sea, shrouded in black mist. None have ventured out to Petros, as those who have, have do not return from the fog. Very little is known about the isle, and the only information we have are from the following transcriptions. These transcriptions were picked out of a destroyed ship at the bottom of the sea nearest the isle, outside the mist's reach. Although many of them have page, although many of the pages have been damaged, a few have been salvaged and translated back into the common language. Petros is far greater than I thought. The air is sweet, not poisoned. People hunger. I hunger. Hungry in my eyes. Where is my daughter? Where is my dinner? I'm hungry. Sweet air. Poisoned. Run. This chilling message is all that is truly known about Petros. However, we can assume from a message such as this that the land of Petros is poisonous and affects the mind in hideous ways. It is best for now that we avoid all avoid such a place, lest we become monsters ourselves. Gotta love it. I know the place is dangerous, but it also just makes me hella curious. Anyway, we should return these books to the library. Oh, they all use they use, uh, Bye, people! It was so nice meeting you all! Don't know yeah. I'm so excited about- th this place is so cool, there's so many places and things and people. I'm, I'm literally gonna explode. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious about the, um, Petros place. 
Yeah, same. I want it like. Cause I'm also so, curious about the sin. Yeah. Well, the thing what did is, they call it seems like the, 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 the Shadow Prince. The Shadow Prince. It seems like only like some species do okay in that poisonous fog, kind of. And the thing is, if Rex is a dread, I wonder if any of us are like other things. Human. I would know if I was something I not human. I feel like we would know, but at the same time, I feel like we might not. All right, let's if talk to the man. If anything, we're human. If anything. <laughs> Hello, spider. We look human. Hello, man. Sir, do not invade this sacred place of books. All right, let's talk to the mans. Okay, okay, fine. You found all three. Like I said, I'll just, I'll get you the key. Take the label dies in the chest. They're the key to the ender chest that's under the floorboards. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Also, you guys know I'm a girl, right? Sorry, Blank. Wait, what? Sorry, Blank. Didn't know about that. <laughs> no, I'm um, so sorry. I am so sorry, ma'am. One. Okay, no, no, no. I gotta get closer. One and two. What's in here? We got a lever. It's an archive key. Let's go. All right, guys. Let's go. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Away, <laughs> hence. Books. Literally. Uh, I, all anyone needs. To get me We're to in. do something, give me a cool book. Hacker voice, I'm in. <laughs> oh god, that was the weirdest laugh. Um, okay. Uh, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Orange wool. Orange wool. Uh, this looks like a. This looks like an arena. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody, before you before you take another step in there. Three. Before you take before you take another step, I need to give you things. Okay. Regen and swiftness. Regen and swiftness. And also have some milk. Yeah. All right. All right, swords out. Let's get in there. All right. Be careful, folks. Oh, there are so many books. Oh, there are so many books. Mother. And they're locked behind doors. This one's open. This one's open? Oh, it's found the alchemical. Something. What do you find? Congratulations, you found my hiding spot. Is that what you wanted to hear? Oh, you must be suckers for compliments, huh? Well, good luck finding anything else. We were here first, losers. If you're reading this, you're too late. You'll never get through that locked door up there because we couldn't get through it either. You'll never progress. You've you've been screwed over by Loki himself. No need to thank me. Here's an autograph. See you never, losers. Loki. As if I needed one Wait, more self-absorbed, smug let asshole to deal Wait. with. Wait, let me see the note. <laughs> you know what, Loki? You know what? No, we will progress. Loki can also suck my nuts. Loki. Okay, Loki. All right, I'm gonna it go in here. Do not keep what is in this chest. Ah. Hmm? Uh, That's a lot of resources. Like a lot of brewing stuff. Okay, so I assume that's for a reason. Let's not get into that. Is this a trap? That's not a trap book, chest. Book, 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 uh, book, book, book. I got a book in a frame here. It's, it's called Alchemical Magic. Let me read this. The ability to craft allows for many intense powers, but also many true dangers. The truest form of dangerous power coming from the world's most true magics. True magic and power begins the crafting cycle, as it always does. But magic comes in many diff different forms in itself. The first form for the first step. The sorrow of lost children. The anger of betrayed men and women. The loss of family. A home. The second step to powerful magic stems from the most worthy emotion to encapsulate the craft completely, extending it as, as more than just an item, but a system. From the sorrow of others comes the gains of many, as sacrifice demands payment, and payment is an extension of greed. Hey guys, greed. Greed leads into animosity for the suffering it causes and the vengeful rage ensues. It poisons the mind, leading to the fourth craft of, this, of the truest magic in this world. However, those who are able to survive such anger and hatred and disease gain strengths that they didn't know they had. They develop themselves and those around them to lift themselves up higher, blazing in the light of the sun. Look, looking to the sun, taking in the sights, the window to the soul is the last craft in the recipe. Potent magic comes at a cost and has a strict system to follow. Heed this book carefully, for if you take on the challenge, you may be dreadfully rewarded. The truest magic, the sorrow of others, the greed, the disease, the strength, and the soul. I found an entry. 
Oh. Entry of what? Let's see. It just says entry one. Entry one. The town of Grengard, although prosperous due to its location, is constantly under threat of destruction due to the dangerous weather stemming from the restless sea and the wandering ocean guardians that go out from their monument home in search for fresh food. Though this village is still a central location for trade and resources, no, these threats keep it from reaching its full potential as something more. Greenguard could be a kingdom, but it remains a smaller village and a prime location. I want to change this. However, how could I possibly change the weather of all things? I've come through books and no such thing exists in this world. No such power that can completely negate activity in the sky. I can't say, however, that I came across an aspect of magic called flux. Perhaps I can use this element to my advantage to create a new type of magic? Just because no one has ever accomplished weather manipulation doesn't mean it isn't possible. So, I could be the first. B. That's what it's signed. Just B. B. Fun. Although, given these item frames and the items in this chest, what if you yeah. could arrange some order? Okay, so, the, so I've, I've, already, I've already got this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and <laughs> what followed is supposed to be what's in, what was in this book. Um, we're talking we're talking the truest magic, the sorrow of others, the greed, the disease, the strength, and the soul. I would say the sorrow of others would be a gas tier. Yeah. That seems very sorrowful. Also, guys, there's a button. Mind if I press it? Oh. What'd you get? It gave me a fermented spider eye. Love there's it. There's just fermented spider eyes. Potions. Oh. This. Or flux, this not this. It's crystal. it's a flux crystal, yeah. There what is there this thing we're supposed to do here? Um, Even the okay, book. the book. So there was this this book was on this uh, frame, and and uh, it's got uh, basically a code at the end: the truest magic, the sorrow of others, the greed, the disease, the strength, and the soul. Magic. Okay, so we know what the sorrow is. That's the gas tier. I'm gonna say greed is an emerald. Wait, what else is in here first before we just throw things in? All sorts of al alchemical crap. Can you like, list down all the things so that I yeah, can Yeah, can you list them? So I can the truest down. magic, the sorrow of others, the greed, the disease, the strength, and the soul. The disease. The well, the fermented spider eye maybe would be disease, but what if it's just the spider eye is the window to the soul? Or we could try that. Anything happening? Not sure. No? Alright. I heard it. Did anyone else hear ticking or am I just going crazy? No, I might be just going crazy. Yeah, and there wasn't any click or anything. I think we're off uh, somehow. Maybe, maybe we should take out the fermented and the, the crystals, because those just were in dispensers. Well, no, I don't. Th I, th I think they would matter if they were what hidden is the behind. What Sawtool bottle. I don't know what that is, but what if that's disease? I don't know. Not keep whatever uh, you just replaced. Keep, keep, keep the keep the emerald there, man. I think that's, that's the best. The top row is the top row is correct, I believe, because it makes sense. It makes hella sense. Just. <sighs> I may have been scared. thrown off. I may have, it, what, it, pass me the book. So this is what's throwing me off because a, a, a strength potion is made with a uh, blaze powder. Yeah. That's what I thought would be strength. But it also says blazing in the light of the sun, which may, you know, in you know, imply that blaze is supposed to be soul. So like what what's the there's multiple ways you can take this, and I'm not sure. Uh mind if I read over the book? Sure. I'm just gonna take a look at it. Man, that's the problem with these puzzles. You could they could go like a thousand oh, different ways. Wait, and... wait, 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 wait. Give me a give me what? a fermented eye. I got the fermented eye. Gimme. It's on the floor, it's on the floor, it's on the floor. Is that right? I think where it comes to worst we can just Wait, I heard something. It. I heard something. Yep, we got the best area of vicious creatures open. <sighs> Marshy, you wicked. Uh, intuition. Uh, we got nether quartz, paper, and an ancient curiosity. It's a Thomcraft thing that apparently holds knowledge. 
All right, okay, let's, let's check look these. The bookcases before looking at the lever. Yeah, we got a, a book in oh. here. It's called Lycan's Log Number Sixteen. <gasps> there are plenty of dangerous beasts in Rem, but I think the most interesting of them are the, all the ghosts. I didn't believe in the supernatural before I did some investigation in some abandoned locations when I realized that goats and, ghosts and spirits are indeed not as fake as people say they are. Does this mean there is some form of afterlife? It's quite the interesting concept if I say so myself. However, I've also found from observation that ghosts do not always appear after someone dies. Do not ask how I made this observation. But I have noticed that intense emotion is usually the, king, the thing that keeps people around. That or it's magic. I'm not certain which. Magic is not a known subject to me, really. The point is ghosts are real. And if you find one, try talking to it. That was my beast entry of the day. Take care, everyone, and I'll talk to you again another time. Hyphen, I, professional beast observer, Lycan. I also found a book. It's entry number two. I haven't worked in Thomcraft too much, so I can't say I was very confident when I first started my experiments. However, it's slowly getting a bit easier to understand the more I work at it. It even came with an instruction manual. How handy. The first couple of experiments were simple and rather elementary, as they were just my attempts at coming to grips with casting spells with the gauntlet and creating foci. I have a number of scholarly volunteers as well to assist in the experiment. We all came together in an attempt to discover a way to allow Green Guard to prosper, which I can appreciate. We've been working primarily in the basement of the archives to ensure privacy from the villagers. However, it was quite the hassle to cover up all the holes. The walls are not entirely stable. Perhaps we could even use magic to fix those after we fix the weather. E. Huh. All right. Okay. Uh, nothing else opened, did it? No. All right. You know what? I'm going to hit this lever, and if I die, so help me God. Uh. Shit. Run. Run. Um, oh, no. We got, we got here. We have minotaurs. What the hell? Yo, shout outs to these boys. Hey, idiots, die, 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 die. Come on, Surah. I just realized I don't have a Get... shield. <laughs> you guys good in there? What are these? Oh, oh, these are mobs too. These are mobs too. These are death tomes, these books. Wait. Oh, okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're yeah, we're okay. largely okay. That was not too bad. They dropping books um, and paper and shit. Me. Okay, you guys I've also are got... stuck in there. Wow. Beautiful, amazing, incredible. Wait, wait, what are you doing? Stop flipping that lever. Yeah, it's just, it's just leave it uh, open. Opening. Leave it open. No, no, it's leave it open. Just... Do not touch it. Do not. No, don't, leave it open. Think, turn, turn it back on. Keep it like that. Cool. What do you got? You gotta get a spring. I know. It opened a door out here. Oh. Are you in another archive? Yeah. Yeah, it, it opened one the, of the other doors. It was. Which one was it? The. Controversial history. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, you know, if you crouch, the uh, thing that shows you what you're looking at will show you what's in the bookcase. Oh. You don't have to manually click on it. Oh. Yeah, oh. yeah, you see that? Look at you being. Oh, God. The one who can't climb ladders is stuck with the room with the ladders. No, she has to do the parkour! <laughs> Entry three, oh, no. okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, I like parkour. <laughs> progress is show is, is progress is going strangely. Many of my volunteers have fallen ill suddenly, and therefore, I, therefore, I have no choice but to continue myself. However, I've been feeling sick lately too. Is something happening to us? Some of the volunteers are saying it's not a good idea anymore. I can't understand why they're so eager in giving up. I think we're close. Don't they want uh, Grand Guard to prosper like? I know it can. This has to work. And if it does, I'll have so much. Amazing research to share with the world. Others will be able to replicate my experiments and learn from me. That's my dream. Until then, the clouds have become calmer since I started experimenting with flux. However, I feel pain in my chest. What is this feeling? B. Okay. That's beautiful. Uh, can you get us out? I'm working on it. I got, I'm trying to find something... Man, what would happen if all three of us stayed in this room? I think we'd have to. One of us would have to. Why didn't sacrifice. you come in with us, Hershey? Um, a little. She knew something was up. She had the she had the spidey sense. Oh parkour! Oh fuck! Parkour! 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 Hardcore parkour! That's ladder parkour. <laughs> You've got this. Marshy, I believe in you. Okay. Okay. This is the last jump that I need. No! Oh, okay, we're good. We got it. We got it. Oh. Uh, flip. Oh. Flip. 
Okay, did that open the door? Freedom! Marshy, you beloved soul, you have freed. Cool. Oh, you missed a you missed a book. I was too busy trying to get this lever. I mean, fair. Also, there are so many, so many books. There's a lot of books. All right. Historical events were always a fickle thing in the worlds of Rem. I've often read all the books I could, and while some events are set in stone, there are others that are either vague or different between books. I believe this is due to the opinions of the writers of the history books. There are plenty of moments in history where opinions will get in the way of proper observation and understanding of an event. I personally believe that most history books will lie to you if they have the chance to sway you to either side of an argument. For example, the fall of the Sun Civilization is a huge controversy. Most say it was the monsters that allowed it to fall, or they say it was the, due to the ineptitude of the gods. However, I say that it was an inside job. Other arguments just don't line up. The goddess was always supportive of the Sun Civilization, and have great relationships, relationships with Lord Calix before the demise as testimonies state. And the walls were sturdy to the extent that they are still standing to this day. So how can you bring down such a powerful empire if not from the outside? From the inside. Um, fellas, I found Elaine. Where? She's right here. Elaine! Bro, oh, well, you're alive! Well, well. There on the ground is Elaine, seemingly hurt and tired. How did she I get this far down into the archives? I suppose that question can wait. I should talk to her and make sure she's okay enough to get back to the surface and reunite with Pluto. All right. Um, who are you people? What are you doing down here? Are you Elaine? Yeah, I'm Elaine Re Renevere. Autographs later, okay? You okay? I'm fine. I'm an adventurer. I'm used to it. And I definitely wasn't stuck in here with a broken lip. Ow! Fuck. Pluto sent us. <laughs> Pluto? Hey, he must be worried sick, right? I told him not to worry. I know how to handle myself. Do you know how to get out of here? If I knew that, I would have gotten out of here long ago, right? We'll get you out. It's nice and all. I'll just rest here a bit longer. Hey, newbies, maybe examine the chest a bit. Something's not right with it. I think it's weighted or something. Can't be sure, though. I'm so tired. Goodbye. Uh, someone stand outside the room while we check this chest. Got you. Yep. Tower key. Whispers to you. I just came down here for adventure. Out of curiosity, this can't be the end, can it? Please don't let this be the end. There has to be a way out of here. There has to be anything. The books, the walls, the torches. Please. Well, Elaine, uh, that's all that got us and a tower key. I think you took that. Yeah, I took so, the tower uh, key. Bruh. I'm looking around. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to read this entry four that I found. Sure. Today we suffered a couple of losses. A huge flux explosion radiated outward toward from the main room where we were working in and caused some of the nearby water-filled caves to flood. We we're still trying to fix the damages, but I'm not sure what to do. Some people died from the water's force as it pushed us, pushed into us. The rest of us were able to retreat to high ground, but we were all in pain. Some weird purple substances are covering our bodies after that explosion. What is happening to us, B? Did hmm. you guys- are you guys finding anything? Nope. Uh, no. Ain't found shit. Alright, and it's open. We're good. Oh my god. That was a little We're scary. Free. Now how do we free Marshy? It's in the- the- Controversial history, right? Yeah, just do the, the ladder parkour and there's a lever up there. Screw are the we... ladder parkour. I got- I got- oh, I got my- too. I got my- I got my- I got my jumps. I got my freaking. I got my drip. Alright, you should be out. Traps can suck my nuts. This place is Did you get so a key cool. for this? Yes, I did. It's called the tower key. And it sure goes in there. <gasps> oh, shit! <gasps> ow, 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 ow. Bro, it Marcy. took- oh. Marcy! Hold on, I got you. I got you. I'm sending Stay arrows away. down. Oh my god, I can one-hit kill those things. Hell yeah. All right, Marsh, you good? Yeah, there's a pathway underwater over here. Uh, let's search these bookcases. Marsh, you don't go too far. No, I won't. There's a chest. Should I open it? Mm, maybe. I'm gonna stand at the edge. If that thing's weighted too, I'm gonna, I'm okay. gonna flip. What do we got? <laughs> a book. Various 
Wait, where did you guys go? How did you get up there? Where? Huh? We have the power of jump. <laughs> I'm above Fuck you. Fuck off. It looks like you have to do parkour actually from the other side. Look, there's a ladder. I see. But what the are you gonna do? The power to ever be harnessed by the people of Rem is known as Consul. Oh. Consul is said to grant unbelievable powers and abilities and limitless oh, possibilities. Boy. The creator of Consul, Pyrus, is the last known person to be aware of the weapon's location. Perhaps one day, Consul will be found and humanity will understand the powers of the oh. true god. Until then, we place our trust in Pyrrhus and the new goddess to protect our world and end the invasion of darkness for eternity. Uh, I'm curious about that. About what? Pathway mm. down there. Oh, let's go. Hey, move. Was there a pathway down there? Uh, you were being attacked again. I know. Let me just use my depth strider. <laughs> Why? Where am I being hit from? I'm going to die down here. I can shoot What's, him, What was in that chest down there? Anyone who lived long enough to see it? Okay, prism ring, crystals, lapis, uh, and something. Miner's ring or something. Okay, anything else? Oh, was there anything else in that room other than the chest? Uh, I'll go back in a sec. Let me just evaluate my existence. But it's interesting that they were trying to change the weather itself. I, I mean, wonder if they ever succeeded. I mean, to be fair, uh, we do we do that in real life, you know that? Cloud seeding is a thing. Yeah, but what was the illness or the sickness? I guess we should go talk to that one dude. Which one dude? Um, uh, the, the Pluto. Yeah, Pluto, yeah, Pluto, Pluto. Pluto, we found her. Yeah, we found you, chick. She's gonna be okay. God, I keep Probably. Where was he? Wait, wait, wait. He's not in his house. Wait. But wait, there's a book. Wait, wait. Wait, we gotta go back. What? What happened? Do we? What do we miss? Something. Wait. Oh, great. A parrot is leading her, us back in. You like my butterfly? Here. Marcia, if you want my boots, I'll just parkour. Wait, no. Okay, so then what? What? Wait, I didn't see them. There's a hole I missed. You missed a hole? Water. Hold on. I'm trudging over here. There's something what under. Yo, there's just a big old pool around. That's an infusion altar. What? What? Oh, shit. What What's were these guys it? making? I they see were a trying to crystal. mess with the weather. Is this how they were doing it? Frick! Frick! Mm -hmm. What hit me? I missed Octurus Drinkwills. Get on land. Help. Now. Oh god, okay, what is that thing? Hey, numbskull. Numbskull? <laughs> is that what we're calling okay, him guys. now? Oh no, he shot me. Oh, he's got thaumaturgy on his on his side. Okay, yep, he got guys. me too. Alright, you know what? If he wants to throw magic around, I'll do it too. I made a mistake. Regeneration, go. Regeneration, go. Regeneration, go. Get numbskull. Where is he? He's, he's still in the water, there. he's in the one corner. one v one him, I'm ready. Stop hitting me. <laughs> Let's go. Bring it um, on, bitch. Oh, sorry no, about that. I think no. I hit you. Yeah, I think I hit you. Sorry I'm about that. Die. Do it again. Yeah, the flux bolt uh, does um, it does armor piercing. Got him. He dropped coins. The bound scholar. What is all this? <sighs> it's like everything is set up to do a ritual. Can we enact it? Uh, I wouldn't. First off, that that specific recipe does not show up anywhere in my Thaumonomicon, so I wouldn't middle. do that. There's nothing in the middle either, so no, you can't. No, I took like... it. It was a guardian charm. The hell's a guardian charm? It it repels guardians, like the. Oh, that is oh. so useful. The water mob? Yeah. Yeah. We don't go into the ocean all that much. Oh, hey guys, there's a book. The What's volunteers the book? are lost in the water. I went back down to continue my experiments. I'm so close, I know it, I... but something is wrong. The dead scholars from the cave and they, they're alive again. And I feel such a pain in my heart. There, there's too much flux in the air. What have I done? I made a terrible mistake. Why did I do this? Oh, I have just please. ruined back. I <laughs> save it. I'm dying. No one can ever know about this. No one can ever go down into these archives. All the souls that I trapped here in my selflessness. Sorry, I need to fix this. Someone needs to help me fix this and free the souls. 
Flux, 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 flux. The rest of the page cuts itself off. Did we talk to Pluto? Pluto dipped. He dipped. He's gone. Did he? I don't think he dipped. Maybe he just wandered somewhere else? We're gonna wait on him. The Library of Vanguard is a hotspot for strange and almost supernatural activity. Residents of this portside town have struggled to survive for quite some time. And the previously prosperous Ow. location has crumbled. And deteriorated. Several homes are now empty Dude. and devoid of oh, this villagers believe Green Guard or Grand Guard oh. due to strange appearances, hearing echoing voices and screams, and even horrific and unending nightmares. <laughs> the library has been closed off for quite some time now. An entry is denied. My handwriting suddenly changes. Don't you see, Pluto? This is what we gotta investigate. So meet okay. me there, alright? If I'm not in the house, I'll be in play inside the place. Okay. Um I guess that was, yeah. Mm. Note to self, if I ever go on one of these again, uh, bring three backpacks. Where did right. Pluto go? Pluto? Dude, you can't just leave. We gotta get your friend. All right, you know what? You know what? Nothing else to do here. There really isn't. So let's head back to the library. But... Our library. But where is the dude? His quest is over. We don't need to talk to him or anything. There's no additional dialogue or nothing. We're good. I get it. I just want to... I like knowing that they're okay. And it's not like we've told him that we found Elaine. Well, he probably grabbed Elaine and dipped. All right? Let's just... Okay. He's probably got his, he's probably got his okay. friend. We can just go home. I would like to go home. This has been very... While fun, it's been very tiring. I think I'm gonna head back to my tree. Probably a good idea. And just relax. Mind if I travel with you for no other reason? I just want to see your tree. I haven't seen it You've yet. You've never seen my tree? I don't remember well, how to get I've to my tree. Oh, this outside. way. You have your puppy. I got Chicken Queen, and I need a name for the other guy. Chicken Queen. <laughs> Hello, friend. Who should? What should I name my other dude? Chicken Queen and hmm. Skyfall? I don't know, you have a tree and you keep getting launched off. I'll call him Falling Damage. No. <laughs> <laughs> call him Falling Damage. Well, here's my little my little restaurant bar thingy. It's very empty. All we have is cookies at the moment. This is a quaint little place. I like this. Yeah. Your tree is already far more functional than mine. This is the random room with a single book. Ah uh, yes, perfect. As all things should be. <laughs> and this is my storage room. Ah, uh, perfect. I'll, I'll put my shit away later. Finish the tour first. <laughs> this is the this is the main the first balcony with the diving board. Make sure you oh, sprint no. jump or else you may miss. It, I have the launch boots. We're fine. Oh, then you may overshoot if you use your launch <laughs> boots. <laughs> Up here is my my magic area. Very Ooh. empty, mostly. Yeah. That's a holy hand grenade. Only used in case of emergency. A holy hand <laughs> Oh, you have like a clipboard. Oh, yeah. Did you hear something? Mm. I don't think I did. Am I going crazy? What did it sound like? A spider? A spider. Oh, there's spiders. No, there's spiders. There's it. spiders. <gasps> fuck, fuck shit! Help, 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 help. Oh. Please get up here. Break that right now. Break it right now. What Break the pur purple. Break the purple. Uh. It's spreading. Break the purple. I don't know what the best stuff to use is for. God, why the fuck is this happening? What the heck was that? Why that is there taint. sand? Don't worry about sand. <laughs> that was. Wait, why is there taint? I don't know. Is there any more? I didn't know taint could do that. It just it keeps randomly spawning here. Is like your tree infested? I don't know. God, I, I never. Me and Karma were literally thing. just talking about spiders up here. Maybe oh. having a tree house wasn't a good idea. Dude, I just wanted to have a nice relaxing stream in with a nice tour of my treehouse. And of course this shit always happens. Oh, I hate, I hate Thumbcraft. 
I forgot that's like that little bouncy. I know so little about bombcraft. It's dangerous, depending how far you go with it. Mm -hmm. Apparently, it can corrupt you physically and mentally. Given my desire for knowledge, I will probably eventually delve into it. I'm just trying to get powerful enough to exist first. Yeah. Yeah. Although, perhaps if I learn more about Thumbcraft, maybe we can figure out why this is happening to your tree? Maybe. I should probably research into it, too. Yeah, just, I guess we need to be careful, especially if it can, I guess, corrupt and stuff. It's, I guess our next objective, other than, you know how we're librarians? Now we must become exterminators. <laughs> yeah, I need I need exterminators. Do you have a boat? Because I think you're, the quickest way to get back to wherever you are is by boat. I have to cross an ocean, so... Or I could just go through the nether. Karma has another portal. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Somewhere what? down there. <laughs> yeah, just jump off. If you want to jump off, go this way. You'll land in the water. 